Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Poor Boy's Little Homestead. Glad you stopped by. Nice, cold, drizzly, rainy day outside. Ain't nothing better to do than cook a little meal. Today, I'm going to be cooking me a deer meat stew. That's right, a deer meat stew. <laughs> making our deer meat stew out of that old doe deer meat right here I got cut up. We're going to add this deer meat. I got some frozen green peas, some frozen carrots, probably about a cup and a half each. Didn't have no green beans canned up so I got some Italian green beans in the can. I guess I did have some canned up, but I didn't can them. And I got some whole kernel of corn in a can. We use one 15 ounce can of tomato sauce. I got two potatoes, medium to large size potatoes cut up there in chunks. And that's what we're gonna have in our deer meat stew. But first, I, I put my little water in there, about a cup, a cup and a quarter of water. That's all where I start with, because I go on and put my salt and pepper in here. Some salt and pepper to your liking. I put about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of each in here to start with. First, I put this dough meat in there, and I turn the burner up just a little bit. I let that dough meat. I let that dough meat sit there and simmer up a minute before I add the other ingredients. Anyway, look at this. Look at this. I can just eat this dough meat just right there. Next, I like to add my tomato sauce. Get it all stirred around. This year, 2021 I had big plans I was going to plant enough tomatoes we was going to put can our own tomato sauce which, which we can our tomatoes and some tomato juice but we was going to do more we was going to can us some sauce and salsa and y'all I got so excited this year, I seeded my tomatoes and peppers so early. I done potted them up three times. They was in a gallon and a half pots. This tall, getting root bound. And I had to go on and plant them. Well, I knew we was finna get this cold front coming. But I went on and planted them and they out there covered up with bags and everything else. We supposed to get a frost tonight and tomorrow night. So I don't know if they'll make it or not. But yesterday, I really got bad news on my tomatoes. Before I got them out, after I potted them up in them big pots, I built that little greenhouse. I don't know if y'all seen the video of it. But I had all my tomatoes in that greenhouse. And we had some days now where it get it got hot. Well, my tomatoes had started curling leaves up on tops. I thought it just because they was getting so cold at night and so hot during the day. Even though I'd opened the door and had the window open in the, in the house, I just thought it was something to do with that cold and hot, cold and hot. So I, I said, hey, these tomatoes probably ain't going to make nothing, but... I ain't got so much time spent in them, I'm gonna plant them. I went on and planted them. Well, yesterday, an older gentleman and his wife come by, much older than me, wiser. So 
Funny she seen one of them tomatoes, she said, look like your tomato's been hit for two, four D. I said, is that what you think that curling is? She said, yeah. I said, I said, well, I didn't know what the curling was. I said, cause they was in the greenhouse. And I said, I ain't, I ain't sprayed no two, four D. Well, about that time it hit me, my wife had bought some stuff to spray these stickers in the backyard. And even though them tomatoes was in that greenhouse on the other side of my shop, and the wind wasn't blowing that day, that older gentleman said he said the wind didn't have to be blowing. It can just be in the air. Well, I went and got that little bottle of that stuff come in, and the first ingredient on it said 2,4-D. So I done covered all these tomatoes for these freeze coming up. And I don't know, I've already, I went in yesterday and seeded me some more. So if these don't, some of them look like they might be all right, but some of them ain't. So I'm, I'm going to have some late tomatoes, maybe. I started to pull them up and just go buy me some plants. And, but, but the plants you find locally, they just regular tomatoes. I don't want I can go buy tomatoes. There's people around here grows them. So but I need tomatoes. I can just go buy some tomatoes. So I planted me up some more seedlings because I'm growing different varieties just for the fun of it. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go on for our green beans in here next. This is supposed to be a cooking show, not a gardening show. Old corn of corn. Now this, this can... These canned beans and corn here, now I done, I done washed them. I just washed them and had them sitting in water there. I don't just pour it straight out of the can once over. I'm going to put our beans in there, or I mean our sweet peas in there. And a lot of times I use black eyed peas, butter beans. I'm going to put our carrots in there. And just like always, my pot's getting full before I get done. And now we're going to add our potatoes. We're going to keep the heat on up a little more. And at this point, I still don't put my noodles in there. I get this to a simmering. A light bowl simmer and I put the lid on it and I let it simmer until these potatoes get done. And then that's when I add the noodles to it. Potato they were running from me. But I do this every time, whatever pot I start with, it ends up by the time I put them noodles, it's going to be right to the top. Now salt and pepper, then I add me about a good teaspoon of cayenne. I like cayenne, I like that warm feeling, but yet it ain't hot and burns your mouth. Look here. I forgot to put my onions where my knife go. We're gonna go on, we're gonna cut up these onions. These are fresh out of the garden. I just pulled them. I planted these onions last in October or November. They ain't got that big of bugs on them, but they some good eating onions. We've been using them for the last couple weeks cooking with. That's what I like about my garden. I ain't, I ain't raising a big old garden of a lot of one thing. We like having just a little bit of everything and run out there. If you want some kale to eat that night, pour you some kale. If you want a salad, go out there and get you a mixture of salad. I 
All right, so now we're gonna put a lid on this baby doll. And we're gonna let her simmer here all about 15 minutes. But while we wait, let me tell y'all what happened to me the other day. I think I need a little coffee before y'all, I tell y'all this. I drink instant non-decaffeinated coffee because I drink it all day long. But it's so thin, it's like drinking water. But let me tell y'all what happened. Me and my wife were driving down the road going to town the other day. And this little cottontail jumped right out in front of me and it wasn't nothing I could do. I hit that little rabbit and he rolled under the truck. I felt bad about hitting a rabbit too because I don't like running over no kind of animal. But my wife jumps out of the truck with a can in her hand and she goes out there and sprays it on that little cottontail rabbit. And that rabbit jumps up and waving at us, hopping down the road just to wave. <laughs> she gets back in the truck and I reach over and I grab that can, I look at it. It says hairspray. Restores life to dead hairs and brings back permanent waves. That's a pretty good one, wasn't it? Let's check on our corn. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Boy, y'all smell that? Y'all smell that corn It's close enough on the turkey. Turn that oven off. And I'm gonna let it just sit right there so it won't get cold. I'm gonna give this one more stir. Making sure it's getting to the right simmer before I walk off and leave. Guys, I'm gonna let that sit there and simmer and I'll get back with y'all in just a little bit. So don't get up and go nowhere. Be back before you know it. All right, my friends. This has actually been simmering over here about 25 minutes, and look at them potatoes. They were even, pork goes right through that tater. That's what you want. When you taste that seasoning in them potatoes, that's when you know you got your seasoning just right, but that potato soaked that seasoning up. Now, my friends, somewhere earlier I forgot to tell y'all the very first thing I done, I got an extra pot out. And I put me some water in it, brought it to a bowl. And I take spaghetti noodles. This is a one pound box and I didn't use quite half of it. And I go on and boil my noodles in the water by itself. And I wait and put them in last. Cause if you don't, your noodles will get too mushy and soft while you're waiting on your potatoes and carrots and meat to get done. So now I'm going to add these noodles to this pot and try not to run my pot over because I need a bigger pot. I got an easier way than that but just drain the water off of them. We just drain the water off of them then I can just dump them in there can making a little stew. Every time I do a stew or vegetable soup or beef stew, I always come up with way more than I intended to by the time I add everything I want to put in. Now that 
that's good and hot and been simmering. So all I'm going to do is turn this burner off. Clean up my mess a little bit so my wife won't get on to me. She'll be so proud I cook supper she won't worry about the dirty kitchen. All we're going to do right now is we're going to put that lid on there and I'll turn my burner off because this is hot. And we're going to let it sit just a few minutes. And then we're going to come back and we're going to fix us a bowl of this dairy meat stew. Let y'all see what it looks like. Boy, that was fast, ain't it? Well, guys, while we was waiting on that just to season up with our noodles here in a few minutes, I got my mess all cleaned up. The dishes all put in the dishwasher. Y'all know, all my life, I didn't like dishwashers. I thought a dishwasher ought to come with two legs and a set of boobs. But nowadays, that dishwasher's all right. I can just load up my mess all in there and don't take me as long. But anyway, I'm going to bring y'all over here. Let y'all see what this deer meat stew looks like. This cornbread. Then we're going to fix us a little sample bowl. To let y'all see what it tastes like. One of these days, this technology is going to be where y'all can smell through these videos. But look at that. All that meat, corn, noodles. I could have done just a little less on the noodles. That's all right. That's all right. Piece of this cornbread. I like crumbling about half of my cornbread in my stew and leave my other piece there for the top. I need to get a spoon that don't let my juice go out, don't I? Wish y'all was here to have a bowl. Y'all could come see me. We'd just get, go out there and get that horse trough and cook, cook us a big old batch of it. May have to go shoot some more does before we cook that much, though, huh? Mmm. A little hot, though. Not pepper hot, fire hot. Make do the moonwalk. That's some good. That's some good stew right there. Now you can make this same stew if you don't want venison in it or dairy meat, as I call it. Get you some little steak, cube it up. Any kind of any kind of meat you want, really. But that's pretty good, guys. Seeing that moonwalk, y'all hear they put a new restaurant on the moon. They said they got a restaurant up there, and the astronaut said it's pretty good eating, but the atmosphere ain't much to it. I don't know where they keep coming up with all this stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Have a great day.